A nation paid final respects to Antonin Scalia as a partisan brawl rages on. The Senate's majority leader and the chairman of the Judiciary Committee penned an open letter arguing the next president, not Barack Obama, should choose Scalia's replacement on the high court. The president was clear about representing his view that the president has a constitutional duty to nominate a successor whenever there's a vacancy on the Supreme Court. And the Senate has a solemn constitutional duty to give that person a uh, fair hearing and a timely yes or no vote. Republicans insist while Obama may put forth a nominee, the Senate may withhold its consent and delay filling the vacancy until after the November presidential election. A few Republican senators have said the chamber should consider anyone Obama puts forward. Even so, most observers doubt enough bipartisan support would materialize to advance a nomination to a final vote. The Supreme Court has a vacancy, and your vote in November is your only voice. Already, interest groups are running ads on U.S. airwaves. You choose the next president. The next president chooses the next justice. That is not the way our Constitution works. The fight has become a central issue on the presidential campaign trail. When you hear Republicans say they will reject any justice that President Obama nominates, no matter how qualified. Well, my friends, let's remind, let's remind the Republicans. Barack Obama is the President of the United States. This election will be a referendum on the Supreme Court. And I'll tell you this, I cannot wait to stand on that debate stage with Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or whatever other socialist they nominate. The White House could put forth a nominee in a matter of days or weeks. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.